Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the new Hitman 3 game. Honestly, for me, the game is well optimized. I'm kind of surprised a triple lead that I can run smoothly without any patches. So yeah, it's a pretty decent game. The graphic looks nice and it's well optimized. The first thing that I recommend is to remove your game mode. Make sure that game mode is at off. I was losing a couple of FPS with game mode at on and also I, I got like some stuttering. So really important to put this one at off. If you look at the Xbox game bar, uh, really important, put this one at off. And also don't use any overlays like Discord overlay, AMD overlay, NVIDIA overlay, stuff like that. You can use like something like uh, MSI Afterburner if you just want to see your, to track like FPS, your uh, temperature and stuff like that. But don't go too crazy with the overlay, you will lose FPS and you will get some stuttering. Also for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and the recorded audio of Windows is at off. Another thing that you can do with your uh, Windows is write GPU in your search bar, open the graphics setting, make sure that hardware accelerating GPU scheduling is at on, you will need to restart your computer to make sure that's applied, uh, you need like a recent video card, like something the on uh, if you look at the Nvidia is 1000 series and more like something re recent than that. And uh, on AMD, I'm not too sure. I don't think it's compatible right now. I don't think they update the driver. So uh, yeah, maybe just come in. If you have like something like an RX 6800, something like that, uh, just come in if you, it's compatible or not, because I, I don't have the card right now to test. Uh, yeah, that's about it for the hardware accelerated GPU. Another thing that uh, can be really important is make sure that you update your driver. This seems stupid to say, but if you have like NVIDIA or AMD, go on their website. It's a AAA game. They will uh, send like a dedicated uh, graphic gr driver for this game. And normally when you update for those dedicated driver, you will get like 5 to 7% boost in your FPS. So it's a pretty decent boost. Uh, and also, if you have the Intel, uh, an integrated video card on your CPU, go on the Intel website. Don't update with the uh, search with Windows. They just give you like some driver to make sure that your monitor is working with your uh, GPU and it's recognized. But go on their website. They have like dedicated uh, driver for that. Uh, one more thing. It's your uh, energy power plan. Make sure that you're using the proper one. So write energy, open power and sleep, additional power setting. Make sure that you're using something like balance or high performance, really important. Uh, sometimes, I don't know why, uh, I saw a couple of people who comment about that. Uh, they have like a laptop, a gamer laptop, and even when they plug in the wall, they are at power saver. So don't use the power saver. Make sure that you use, you use balance or high performance. You wanna make sure that your CPU and GPU get the maximum energy that they can have to make sure that your boost clock and stuff like that are uh, optimized. Another thing that you can do is for your video card, uh, right click on your control panel for NVIDIA. You have pretty much the same thing on the AMD. Just make sure that in Manage 3D, just make sure that your uh, power management mode is also using the preferred maximum performance. You don't want something like uh, adaptive. Optimal power is fine, but uh, I prefer this one. I always get a uh, better boost clock with the uh, maximum performance. And I put... Uh, my MSI Afterburner at power limit maximum. So that's about it for that. Okay, so now the game. Let's start with the game, the graphic parameter. So it's pretty cool. You have like a launcher that you can click option and you can straight up change all your graphic parameter over there. And you can even launch a benchmark with different scenes. So that's really cool. Honestly, they think about like PC gamer. I really like this option. So first of all, make sure that your graphic processing unit is the proper one. Normally when you have like a Ryzen processor with a GPU, you will not, don't, you will not have any issue. But if you're uh, running like a laptop and you have like an integrated video card plus your video card, sometimes I see a couple of people that they were not using uh, their dedicated GPU. They were using the integrated video card. So really important to see your video card over there. Monitor, make sure that you're using your primary full screen resolution. Make sure that um, you're using the native resolution of your monitor. For me, it's 1080p. Display mode, I, I did a couple of tests. Exclusive full screen seems the best for me. Uh, window, for sure, I was losing FPS. Full screen, I, I got like some random stuttering, so I'm not too sure if it's the game. But for me, uh, exclusive full screen was smoother.
After that, uh, V-Sync, uh, you can use it at on. Uh, if you don't like tiering, you can definitely use it. But uh, right now, it's kind of complicated. Like some people are using G-Sync, FreeSync. Some people don't want to use V-Sync because it's create like input lag. This is more like a single player, so you don't really care. I prefer to have like small amount of input lag versus tiering. So that's why I'm using it. Uh, HDR, I'm putting this one at off because I don't have an HDR monitor, but... Uh, it takes resources. So if you don't have a good PC and you have like a monitor compatible with HDR, maybe you will need to uh, remove the feature to make sure that you have uh, a lot of FPS. Super sampling, at playing at one, one is 100%. You can uh, over if you want, but you will lose a lot of FPS. So just go with one. Level of detail, this one, uh, you will have a difference between two to 3% for each bracket. I'm going with low because I didn't see a big difference between low and medium, like 1% in my FPS, but it decreased a lot my image quality. So medium seems to be a good spot. Texture quality and uh, texture filter, it really depends on your VRAM. So if you have six, uh, four gig of VRAM and more, go with I and 16, three gig, go with medium and something like 4X or 8X. And if you have less than two gig, go with 2X and low for the texture quality. So I will go back like this. Ambient occlusion, this one, huge impact. Uh, it's pretty much like shadow also, huge impact. Ultra to off, you can gain 10% in your FPS. Shadow quality, ultra to low, another like eight to 10% in your FPS. So if you are like, if you just need like something like 10 or 12% to make sure that you get your 60 or your 120 FPS, this is pretty much uh, where you can get your FPS, like the ambient inclusion and the shadow quality. Mirror reflection will just will they will it will cause more like a drop in your FPS. You will not get more FPS. So when you see a lot of reflection in the game and you're starting to stutter a little bit and you're getting some random drop, it's probably because of the mirror. If you're playing for sure on an integrated video card, go with off with this one. But uh, if you have like a mid-range computer or even higher, you can go easily with medium or high. SSR quality, go with off variable rate shading. You don't want like, this is more like a consulting uh, quality or performance depending on what you want. So just go with off. You're already setting all the setting that you want to use on your uh, computer. And for simulation quality, go with base. After that, if you want to do a couple of tests with your benchmark, you can select a benchmark scene like I was saying. Uh, you can show your FPS and also you can see all your uh, stats and you can start the benchmark. Also, you can do a stress test if you want. You can loop endless. So uh, that's pretty cool. Also, they give you that option. So this is pretty much it for Hitman 3 on my Ryzen 3900X plus an RTX 2070. I'm running easily like uh, 144 FPS, uh, everything like high to medium I, on, and on my laptop i'm running 60 fps e easily medium with low with my shadow and ambient inclusion i'm running like a dell xps uh, i7 7 7700 k uh, plus a 1060 uh, gtx the mobile version so this is pretty much it. It's running well, honestly. The game is well optimized. I don't have any issue with it. So if you have any question, guys, just come in, in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.